In this episode, we'll show you 12 moments when Dmitry Bivol went into rage mode. Judge of distance. Oh, what a beautiful right hand! Friends, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And let's get to it. Opening our list of destructions, a deadly knockout of Dmitry Bivol in an amateur bout in 2014. Moving on, Dmitry Bivol's fight with a Kazakh boxer in the semi-pro WSB league, in which Dmitry needed only one round. Off point here tonight. Not at his best. There's the knockdown! Left-right combination! My goodness gracious me! 33 seconds in round one, and that's it! It's all over! On November 28, 2014, Dmitry Bivol made his professional debut against Jorge Oliveira. The fight took place at the famous Moscow Arena, but at that time it was half empty, and people had no idea that they were watching the future boxing star. Next up is Dmitry Bivol vs. Konstantin Peternov, April 2015. For the first two rounds, both fighters were not inferior to each other, which is natural, because the opponent was of a different caliber. However, the advantage was still on Bivol's side. In the third round, Dmitry didn't wait for the opponent's activity and began the round with an explosive series. And as a result, knocked down. <laughs> Peternov with a smashed face managed to get up, but Dmitry had already smelled blood and Konstantin's corner couldn't stand. Six months after his debut, Dmitry Bivol was given the opportunity to prove himself in a fight with Joey Vegas, and he made the most of it, sending his opponent to the floor twice in the third round. and then brutally finished it off in the fourth. Dmitry Bivol made his USA debut on August 27, 2015 against Mexican Philip Romero. All the fight Bivol like a predator stalked his prey and managed to catch it in the eighth round. Continuing his journey to the top, Dmitry Bivol had his next fight against Brazilian Jackson Jr. Bivol took full control of his opponent from the start, taking him apart piece by piece, and in the second round, with a powerful right hand, he sent the Brazilian to the floor. And that's hurt him. Big left hand. Came because Jackson tried to throw a right hand. Oh, it's down. Right hand put him away. The pressure only increased, and as a result, another knockdown overtook the Brazilian in the fourth round. Oh, there he was. That was the opening he was waiting for. Nine, ten. Oh, and that's man. terrific right hand. Cool. Just great timing and concentration levels. Well, just made with, with Jackson through his shot. Bevel's next opponent was a New Zealander nicknamed The Butcher. Brutal destruction. Oh, 
Да, надо развивать этот успех. Еще хороший вываливается. Еще, да, хороший джеб зашел. Не дожмет. Но концовка однозначно забила. Да, да, Куда-то куда точно... выбрасывает туда. Да нет, но абсолютно. Вот, сбоку такая стыки удары. духа у него. То левое, да. то правое угол сбоку. Все время Еще защита, один очередной нокдаун. April 14, 2017. Fight against Samuel Clarkson. If before Dmitry Bivol didn't rush things, here he completely changed his tactics, rushing at his opening from the first seconds. In the fourth round, Dmitry Bivol sends Clarkson to the floor again. He barely gets up, and the referee stops the fight. On June 17, 2017, Dmitry Bivol made his debut on the legendary HBO. His opponent was a tough American, Cedric Agnew. This time, too, Dmitry didn't intend to drag out the fight, so he sent his opponent to the floor in the first round. The fight turned it into a one-sided beating. Cedric just didn't know what to do, so in the fourth round, after a missed punch, he refused to continue the fight. The next victim of Dmitry Bivol was Trent Broadhurst from Australia. This guy was much less lucky than the others, because Dmitry sent him to the Astral already in the first round. Oh, and a beautiful right hand over! Inside a round! And Dmitry explodes onto the world scene and retains his WBA title in him. Moving on, the bout with Cuban Sullivan Barrera in March 2018. Test Bivol! and find out what Bivol is really all about. Bivol gave his opponent the annual Hunger Games for all 12 rounds, and at the end he put a nice fat point on it, sending the Cuban on the floor with a hard right. want to see more American champions, we have to get our amateur... Oh, down goes Barrera, and you can see Bivol thinking to himself... ...and the cut on his right eye and lands the knockout punch, closes the show. Well, I think I said to you, Roy, earlier in the round, he's still looking for the knockout. Yes, he and was. He got it. Still look for the knockout with that right hand. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if so, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, there will be many more highlights waiting for us. That's for sure.